بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے اوور لیسن از فسٹ اسلامی کمیونٹی امہ ہات المومنین یعنی وائف آف دی ہولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم میں حضرت زینب بن تجاش رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ فسٹ آف آل حضرت زینب بن تجاش رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ ہریل نے واس برا حضرت زینب فادر واس جاش بن ریاب این امیگرینٹ فرام بنو اسد بن خزیمہ ٹرائب ہو ہیڈ سیٹل ان مکہ انڈر دی پروٹیکشن آف بنو امیہ شی واز فسٹ کزن آف ہولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ایز ہر مدر واز امامہ بنت عبد المطلب بلونگ ٹو بنو ہاشم قریش ٹرائب اینڈ سسٹر آف حضرت محمد صلی اللہ فادر حضرت زین واز بورن ان فائیو نائنٹی اے ڈی ان مکہ When her first husband passed away, Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam married her with his adopted son and freed slave Hazrat Zaid bin Haris رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ. She did not want to marry Zaid رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ since he was a slave, but she did so on Prophet sallam's command. However, Her marriage with the Hazrat Zaid was unsuccessful and they got divorced. In those days, marrying an adopted son's divorced wife was not acceptable. But Allah the Almighty clearly revealed to the Prophet ﷺ that Islam does not give the importance to this kind of relationship. Allah said in the Quran, وَمَا جَعَلَ أَدْئِيَاكُمْ أَبْنَاءَكُمْ ذَلِكُمْ قَوْلُكُمْ بِأَفْوَاهِكُمْ It has not made your adopted son your true sons. This is merely your saying by your mouth. Prophet ﷺ was given the good news of his marriage to Hazrat Zainab رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ. Allah said in the Quran, فَلَمَّا كَذَا زَيْدٌ مِنْهَا وَتَرًا زَوَّجْنَا كَهَا لِكَيْ لَا يَكُولَ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ حَرَجٌ فِي أَزْوَاجِ عَدْوِ عَدْئِيَاهِمْ اِذَا كَذَوْ مِنْهُنَّا وَتَرًا So when Zayd had not longer any need for her, we married her to you in order that There, there not be upon the believers any discomfort concerning the wives of their adopted sons. They got married after the order to do so came in the Quran in 5AH. Hazrat Zainab bin Tejash was only one of the Ummul Mumineen whose marriage to the Holy Prophet ﷺ was performed at the command of Allah. She always thanked Allah for this unique status. She was skilled in art of sewing and embroidery. 
he used to labor with her hands and give away all her earning in charity to the needy she was called mawal masakin yani asylum of the poor after death of, of prophet sallam she refused to take allowance from the state and give it to the needy she narrated 11 ahadees she was the first one to die after prophet sallam's death in 20 ah she had arranged for her own shroud yani kafan hazrat umar radhiyallahu anhu led her funeral prayers dear students it is today's lesson i hope you all understood inshallah jo rest of the mothers of faithful we will discuss in the next lesson allah hafiz